said. It'll be good for you, she said. <sighs> be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Here's a little song I wrote. Uh, something, something, note for note. Peter, do I really have to do this? <sighs> The do 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 la 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 Don't worry, be happy. It's gonna be stuck in my head forever now. Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! I can't believe it worked! We're not on the Sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flarkin' relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakin Matriarch! Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. We wouldn't have gotten out of there without you, Cammy. We owe you one. Right, guys? Yeah, she can be useful. I am Groot. Ah, don't get so sentimental. She's all right, I guess. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well... Somebody's got to extract your butt out of there. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. I know you're ready. I am Groot. I am Groot. Ugh. Groot says let's go get him. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. 
Oh, the stuff is gross. Uh, kidding me. Ah, wet fur is the worst. <laughs> Rocket, you all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet. And I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save tracks. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? Exiles from where? Pala. They escaped Cree persecution revolutions ago. Now they offer sanctuary and protection to those in need. And you were here before? I spent some time here to heal after. Never mind. It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the one in need right now, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help him. We all are. Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! The men are lost. Rocket, a little help here? Uh. <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Vaisal once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omfad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine yeah. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. Not in this time. Come on, the creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad, but no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, 
There's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. Watch out! Double floor! Whew! Hollis didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found. from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. hi -ya! Giddy up! Crap! That's kind of close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, feeling lucky? Yo, genius! Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, all the times Drax has done something for us. Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. Fine. Maybe a little more. But not a lot more. Not die in a cave level more. What do you mean it's not a good look? I'm being honest. I do not secretly love Drax. Ew, gross! Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Who, oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog?
in a cage. Okay, I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. Gods of those things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H has probably moved on by now. She literally just sent people to kill us. We bludgeoned her favorite monster, Quill. In no timeline does she ever forget. Okay, okay. So negative. Water. Fog and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. Root says we're being watched. I should give this to Drax when he's himself again. Ogamora, I saw the cutest little doll when I was on Nowhere. You'd love it. Root says we should check things out over here. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. Or something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. An eye. What the flark? There's two of them! Who of what? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive, oh, yeah. think but what I'm thinking no. What do you think, Will? You best friends? Yeah, maybe not. Lock and load, Rocket! There's a I chance! I should know these ones! Boo-boo! Oh, bro! Maybe they're just really excited to see us! Don't hold your breath! My blade barely scratches these things! Ain't nothing bombs don't solve! I feel like a matador! You're gonna feel something else if you don't watch it! Bombs away, Rocket! Chop, chop! Happens here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. I am Groot. 
Who? Bug lady? She couldn't guide her way out of the bathroom. See that, Green Mini? That's where we need to be. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before? Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come? And other shadows, too. Ours? Not ours? A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see... Friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. I am Groot. Your bark's crawling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff! Oh, little Fuzzy! Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes! But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Finally, the face of a thousand lives! I think. Is it gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Larkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Thanks, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, don't no, I'm do done with all the riddles. Don't mm -hmm. not, not do whatever you're about to do. Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? Fuzzy's in a mood, we're probably gonna die. Rocket, don't! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You wanna know the plan? Yep! one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I 
feel. We're trying to help you! It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Sumo! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How do a gun do that? And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! Next time we're in a huge fight? More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? That's a funny sounding word. This is impossible! <gasps> I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would!
forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering me. Just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up, more than rock monsters. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just got that word for death. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The squad is going to be bothered by these giant things on Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. I don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Huh. I'll have to tell the priests about the big baddies down here. Once we cure Drax, maybe we could capture a couple. This looks like something Gamora could use. Everything here is strange. Strange plants, strange fog, strange company. Probably the weird fogs affecting the plants. Oh no, I feel it too. It's something else. Something powerful. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does he even throw down here? No. We think these could be useful. Like a dam. Yes! Just the plan, man. Not a you. We ain't got much choice. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocket needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. How about a hand? I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? The priests call it Uro, giver of life and life. Whoa, 
would you guys do without me? Yeah, we're all aware when we get another gun. Star Lord. Say something. God, nope. Bullseye! Bullseye! Easy, baby. We'll figure it out. It's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> not funny! Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving tracks? He'll be here on the way back and we'll be busy. <laughs> just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Bad, you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe them in your sleep. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. This is one of them smart plants. That's my rocket go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just... <laughs> 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 Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says you don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. I am Groot. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? It's just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Flark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. How long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that re Try to find the exit. Oh boy, this place is so creepy. 
Remember the deal, Quill. You find anything shiny, we split it. Anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Still guys right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you know. To make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great. Let me guess. Further down. Only if you want to save that and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. Okay. One last. I don't remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am so proud of us because we've never gone this far for anything before oh this is the one where you inspire them just think about who we were when we started um well you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree exactly and you were a two-bit bounty hunter just as broke as me just as depraved self-centered mindlessly chasing every unit bar contract bank to rob i still like many of those things so do i but none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, feels so good. And Groot. 
Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why did anyone stop me? You're on time to roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Just make the evil version of it like these guys. Look out! for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, 
but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Mantis has been right so far. About what? Finding swamp water in the stinking cave of doom? Yeah, Bug Lady got that part right. Thanks. The priests of Pama settled Lamentis for a reason. This is a place of healing. Uh-huh. Spiritual healing. Drax would have taken us right back to Sacrosanct if Mantis hadn't seen it coming. Exactly. We can trust her. That's not always true, but this time? Yes. I think I'm one of the good ones. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... A cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What the... Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Foolish followers. Think fast, beard butt. You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! You cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Hey guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the Sanctimonious Shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... 
What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this, and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that... Drax? I am Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him. Convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. <laughs>